What's up, everybody? Welcome to Scam Artist TV, or is it Scam TV? You decide. Not really. Anyway, it's the fucking fantasy battle today. I'm going to be your host, Young Flipperachi, uh, and here I got the combatants for the uh, debate today. It's going to be between Nightwing and Daredevil. Okay, battle to the death or incapacitation. Uh, there's going to be no outside help, so Nightwing can't call like the fucking birds of prey or whatever the fuck he be doing or the fucking teen titans uh <laughs> he can't do none of that shit and, and and daredevil can't call foggy so yes yeah, mano y mano um no like elseworlds versions or no shit like that just them at their regular with their you know normal equipment and uh we're gonna start it with an opening salvo from the Daredevil team, it'll be followed by an opening salvo from the uh, from the Nightwing team. Then they'll get their rebuttals in, and then we'll have closing statements. And uh, after that, who fucking knows? It's going to be a party. So let's get started with Daredevil team. Nightwing is outclassed. I feel that Daredevil is a much better mar martial artist. I feel that when it comes to weaponry, uh, that Nightwing may have the upper hand in that regard, but da Daredevil's um, actual weapon is more versatile than Nightwing's is. Uh, not to mention that uh, when you combine the weaponry with his martial arts, uh, he make, it, make, it gives him a greater advantage. Uh, but the biggest advantage uh, will be Daredevil's abilities. Uh, Daredevil has superhuman uh, hearing, reflexes. Uh, <clears throat> he can hear Nightwing from uh, a further distance, you know. He's able to make. He's able to distinguish things from a further distance. He's able to react in a much quicker uh, way than Nightwing could possibly do. Uh, so I feel that this battle is going to go to Daredevil because he is a much better suited in this hand-to-hand -hand combat situation than Nightwing is. Time, 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 time. That's fair. All right. Okay. Let's go ahead. <laughs> Thomas is eating it up. David, go ahead with Nightwing. All right. If you got to start, Dick Grayson. Is, I don't know how you're going to say Daredevil's on a higher level of martial arts training than Dick Grayson. Dick Grayson is second in martial arts only to Batman. And if Batman's the greatest martial arts, you know, hand-to-hand -hand combat person in the DC Universe, which everybody seems to unanimously agree about, then how is he, you know, that must make him second. And to say, you know, and yeah, Daredevil's got his powers, but that's also his greatest weakness. His sound is super sensitive hearing can be manipulated. His, he could throw a sonar bomb or something that, you know, like a flashbang or something. You know, he can disguise his sense with all kinds of different smells. And uh, and so, yeah, so, and he, you know, he's got all kinds of gadgets, and he's, got, and he's got, like, Bruce's wallet, so he's got all kinds of, like, endless funds to have all kinds of different stuff. He's trained with all some of the best fighters in the DC Universe, including Batman, Richard Dragon, Shrike from the League of Assassins, his League of Assassins training. His first fight ever was against Lady Shiva, and he held his own against Lady Shiva. I mean, what more can be said? And he was, what, 14? So, you know, what did Daredevil do? He was blind, and he didn't really learn how to fight until... He didn't learn how to tone any of his senses until, what, his 20s, when he met Stick? So, you know, and the hand training, I think the League of Assassins is much more accomplished than the hand. So, but that's a different story. So I think Dick has the much better training, and, and he has better gadgets, and he has a better sense of how to manipulate Daredevil's senses. Max. All right, so, uh, yeah, we've got uh, first opening round in the books. Thomas, are you ready for the rebuttal for Team Daredevil? Yeah, first off is the, uh, the idea that uh, flash grenades or whatever, whatever come, will come into play. The problem with that is, is this is nobody knows about anybody's abilities. So him throwing a flash grenade for somebody, it, it wouldn't even make any sense for him in this particular fight. Number two, as my partner has listed, is not number two in, the, in, in his universe. Batman said that Lady Shiva is. So, in that regards, 
Daredevil is listed as being a master martial artist who fights with multiple styles. So hand-to-hand -hand combat, they would be kind of close, right? Now, in order for him to be able to beat him hand-to-hand, -hand, he would have to be able to hurt him. With uh, Daredevil's super uh, sonic touch ability, this is his innate ability, something that he's born with, he can't really take a lot of injury because he's able to uh, isolate pain, pain sections. All right, Twan, are you ready for the Nightwing rebuttal? All right. So as far as that, we that what we don't take in consideration to also say that he is not number two. Able to, the official list thing on the DC website is body that he is officially the number two martial artist on that website. Also, number three, his screamers have a thousand ten. Sorry, a hundred thousand watt volts. A hundred. Volts, hundred thousand volts of this electricity. Right there. Seems like a hundred thousand volts of electricity went through your internet connection. So, who's going to be doing the closing statements for Team Daredevil? Just we're both going to. We're both okay. Gonna take then, then in that case, uh, let's go ahead and I mean, say uh, two minutes. Go ahead, starting now. But yeah, but uh, once again, I mean, base abilities like what his innate abilities are. Uh, I can't see. Um, Dick Grayson overcoming his innate abilities. You know, with the radar alone, that gives him the ability to to set a trap, if anything, if that was necessary for somebody that's oncoming. And so, if he wasn't, it, and Dick Grayson wouldn't know that he had this radar ability. Like, he's already outclassed before he even comes into the fucking battle. He is. Before he even gets there, he's already, the fight has already started before he's getting there. So once the fight jumps off, once you get the fight jumping off, and you want to talk about 100 volts of electricity, dog, he can isolate pain. So that means he can isolate that electricity. That's his innate ability. You can't stop that. You can't stop that. He can do it for every internal organ. Every internal organ. <clears throat> All right, Paulie, Paulie, go ahead. Okay. I mean, I'm going to pick up where Thomas left off. I mean, the... the uh, other innate abilities that he has, I mean, abilities that are a part of his character, rather, not and just innate, is his radar sense. Um, <clears throat> Stanley has already gone on record saying that the radar sense for Daredevil is stronger than Spidey's sense is for Spider-Man. We all know the caliber uh, of spider sense and how, how powerful of an ability that is. Uh, and combining that with the fact that Daredevil can sense him 75 feet away before he even comes to uh, within his distance. This gives him the ability to start making his preparations and his plans at that moment. He can start reacting a lot sooner uh, than Dick would be able to. Um, <clears throat> Dick can't match Daredevil in the speed category. Dick can't match Daredevil in the reflex category. Uh, Tuan, you get the opening minute for Team Nightwing. All right, so in terms of that, we're again we're dealing with electricity nobody there's no way that anybody can say that daredevil is faster than electricity number two you have the fact that nightwing has the wingdings so he'll be able to go ahead and be able to get out of daredevil's range Twan was saying like all his gadgets will really get him away from daredevil like he doesn't really all that much need to get in close he has his wingdings he is the best acrobat in the dc universe as Twan was saying so that's you know that's a big plus for him, and he's already fought guys that have I personally think better training. He's fought off a guy who has a death touch. He fought off Jason Todd, who I personally think could have just as good, if not better, training while poisoned and paralyzed by toxin, you know, um, scarecrow toxin fear, and uh, and he still fought him off with ease. He's done all kinds of different things, and you know, and that's I just think it's just not really comparable. You know, like to say that. Oh well, you know he can start prepping from seventy-five feet away. Yeah, all right, he can, but that doesn't mean he's gonna hit him. That doesn't mean you know he still has to get in close. He still has to be able to touch Nightwing, and I think Nightwing takes it. Nightwing's specialty is Aikido, which is all defensive. He's he's not gonna touch Nightwing. I mean, he might touch him, but he's not gonna beat this. He's not gonna win this fight. It's just not. It's it's not. It's gonna be close, but he's not winning this fight. All right, that's two minutes. Uh. 
that's the end of the fucking battle. I feel like it's started off at at a disadvantage anyway, because uh, we're not started off. But uh, Juan's internet, man, kind of fucking, kind of submarined y'all's fucking chances a little bit to me. Um, fucking Team Daredevil, they they both were fortuitous enough to have good fucking internet connections, so they didn't fucking like their shit looked just way more organized. And they were prepared. Um, so I feel like they won the debate. I personally don't think Daredevil could beat Nightwing, but I do believe that they won the debate today based on those, you know, those those existential factors. Um, however, you know, people at home, you guys can decide whether or not you think that Daredevil or Nightwing should be the victor today.